Hi, and welcome to this section on metaprogramming in Ruby. Metaprogramming is a really powerful tool. It is very misunderstood by certain developers, and it just by the sake of its name, it sounds kind of intimidating if you've never used it before. So before we even dive into any code or how to use it, I want to kind of break it down to a very simplistic form and give a practical example. So I have the dev camp site open right now. As you can see right up here, we have my name, Jordan Hudgens. And this is applied from having my first name and my last name entered in when I registered for the site. Now, if I want to call this the way that I called it up here, I could do uh, user dot first name plus and then a space and then concat the last name and do all of that. Now, there's also a way you could use metaprogramming to do it even easier by just creating or overriding the to string method. And I could say, okay, for this string class, I want to create a, uh, I want to override the two string method so that it takes a first name and the last name, puts them together, and then in my application, all I have to do is call the name dot two string and it puts it all together in to one spot and it makes it cleaner. I'm not saying that that's the right way to do it. The way I did it for uh, in the application itself was I added it to a different class so that I wasn't overriding the entire two string method for the entire application because that could be a little bit messy. However, that's a really basic example of how you can do it. What essentially metaprogramming at some of the basic layers are is the ability in Ruby to open up classes and to be able to override different methods to give your program some customization and the most important thing and at least this is in my opinion the way that I've seen metaprogramming use the very best is when it can give your application a lot more flexibility on for other users and we're going to get into a couple examples we're going to get into examples where we override our own classes to give them custom functionality where we override existing classes and methods inside of ruby and then i'm going to show you how rails does it and it uses it really really well to give developers some custom interaction for running database queries so i think you're going to like it this is going to be a great introduction for how to use metaprogramming in Ruby applications, and you'll be able to start using it right away after you've gone through this section.